What's up guys? Sody from Wheelwad. Uh, today's weakness wad is uh, Sleepy's alarm clock, Tim El Capitan Lapten, uh, the fly in Hawaiian. Uh, he, uh, he struggles with what we like to call the chipper. The long wads trying to get them done under a time cap. So today's time cap is 25 minutes. The movements coming through will be an 800 meter ski erg or row. There's no standard on this, you just need to accomplish 800 meters before you move to the next. After that it's a 50, 50 shoulder press at 35 or 45. Uh, 40 push ups, another 400 meter ski or row. 30 kettlebell swings, 20 wall balls, 200 meter ski or row, 30 sit ups, 100 meter ski. So for the first movement, you're, like I said, you just need to accomplish the amount of meters on a rower or a skier. Following that, we have 50 shoulder press. For the shoulder press, we need to have the dumbbells starting from shoulder, locking out overhead. If we see if you're in this position, that's not a rep. You need to lock right out and coming halfway down back up is not a rep either. Touch the shoulders each time. So 50 of those. Then we move to 40 push ups. Push ups can be done in chair or out of chair. I don't have my ball chair here, so I will be doing them out of chair. After the fifth, the 40 push-ups, the, the standard on the push-up is bringing chest right to ground, full extension on the top. So we're not looking, we're not looking for these type of push-ups. We're looking for you to bring chest right to ground, full extension, and back down. You can have knees down on the ground, depending on where your disability is at. You can put your knees up on a box, or if you're able to hold a full tight plank position then it would be feet up as well. From there you go into another 400 meter ski here so just accomplish those meters and then kettlebell swing. So there's a few ways to do a kettlebell swing. Uh, one being at a position where you would bring the kettlebell to the front of your chair. A lot of people you'll see do this. I'm not, uh, because I busted my leg, I'm not going to try to swing this. But what you would do, what you would do is you move your legs to the outside, and then depending on where your balance is at, you could do two or one hand swing, coming through to the beginning, the, the middle of your chair, and then raising it up. For me, because of uh, that little spiral fracture I did on my leg that's still healing, uh, I will be doing them um, to avoid hitting myself with a kettlebell. I will be doing like a high pull raise. So coming down to full extension, high pull raise all the way down, high pull. Either option is acceptable. We go from there to 20 wall balls. It's at set at 14 or 20 pounds. So 20 pound ball. Ball just needs to be able to start from the low and then overhead. We're looking to hit the nine foot mark or the eight foot mark for guys. It's nine foot at 20 pounds for girls. It's eight foot. The ball does not have to come back down to your lap before you throw again. It just needs to be from here to overhead to hit that mark. Half the ball must clear the mark. Then, 
We go to a 200 meter ski and row, finishing up with 30 sit-ups. Sit-ups can be do, done a couple different ways. Uh, you can do them with a band. You can sit on the ground, tie a band to a rack and use that to help you out. You can also just push yourself back up to sitting or if you have ab function, you do a sit-up the normal way that you would. So the standard for the sit-up, no matter which method you use, is to bring shoulders to touch ground, come to a full sit-up position. So you go all the way back to shoulders touching ground and then you have to come to a full sitting position. It's not halfway up. Whatever way you need to get to that point is the way that you will do it. Uh, you are allowed to use your arms to help you sit up. Obviously we're multiple different uh, disability levels. Me being a T6, I'll be using uh, as much motion as I can to get as far up as I can and then I will plant my arms behind me to help me push myself up to the sit up position. And that's uh, the sleepy wad. Give it your best today. Nothing worse than a chipper. Nothing better than a chipper. This is in a 25 minute time cap. So in 25 minutes you try to accomplish all of this work. If not, mark down where you got to and, uh, and just count that as reps. So you'll get one rep for each of the meters. So if you had uh, 800 meter ski, get that accomplished, that's one rep, then 50 reps, then 40, then one rep for the 400, then 30, then 20, then one rep for the 200, then 30, then one rep for the ski. So when you're doing the counting, that's how you would score your workout. Good luck, guys.